All right, Sean Callahan here with Nebraska defensive line coach Terrence Knight and wrapping up here the Mary Harton Baylor satellite camp in Belton, Texas. Coach, first of all, what do you get out of going on the road, getting your head coach down here in the state of Texas over a couple of days? I think the great thing for us is we get a live eval. I think our coaches do a good job of finding talent. There's some guys who slip through the cracks recruiting wise. Uh, it's a lot going on. It's a lot of kids on Twitter and uh, it gets a, gives us a chance to, you know, come out, show face, but also get our eye on a lot of guys who go under the radar and sometimes guys are late bloomers and pop up, you know, so with this 24 class, there'll be a lot of guys that, you know, have a great senior year and it's good that we get a live eval on them. You're from the Northeast originally, but how much have you grown to learn about the state of Texas is from your playing days and, and now coaching days? Well, if you love football, you love Texas. So I've always, you know, admired Texas, how they do things at the high school level and, you know, how those kids always come to college prepared because of, you know, um, the community and, you know, just the lifestyle of being in Texas and how much football means to the people here. So, um, you know, if you love football, you love Texas. So that's an easy fit for us. What um when you when you go on the road like are you more looking for younger guys I mean obviously there could be some 24s but how important is this for like 25 26 and beyond Yeah we make sure we don't miss everybody you know what I mean and uh you know we get the numbers we look at measurements you know coach Coop coach Rule you know coach White they do a good job of evaling guys and you know seeing how guys are going to project and how their bodies are going to grow so I'm just trying to you know uh, pick their brains as much as I can with the eval and, you know, seeing guys and certain natural things that guys do as D linemen stick out to me. But um, just the overall vision of a guy and how they will progress, you know, three to four years down the road, you know, I think our staff does a good job doing that. What is different about Texas high school football? You've kind of been all over now. I mean, what, what, what do the kids down here have maybe as far as their training and coaching that's different than other places? <laughs> that's it. Football is life. Football is life, man. And, you know, recruiting and having the athletic period, practicing and doing extra lift, those guys work out three to four times a day. And, you know, a lot of guys don't work out till they get to college. You know, and then where I'm from, you know, guys transition to basketball and do other things, but guys here, they play football all year round. So, you know, those guys tend to come in ready, like I said before. And, um, you know, those are the guys that impact teams. And, you know, you look at any successful program around the country, you know, they have Texas guys. So, um, and you look back in history, and Nebraska football has always had Texas guys. So we're going to make sure, you know, that Texas is home for us as far as recruiting. Now, you guys will have about just two months with your team back in Lincoln before fall camp starts, which is hard to believe. You guys open up at the end of July. Uh, what do you want to see out of your group? You've got a lot of young talent, Cam Lenhart, guys like Princewell, uh, that could factor for you as, as true freshmen. Yeah, right now they're just coming together, you know, building that brotherhood. Um, and you can see it day by day. The guys like hanging around each other and uh, just generating that camaraderie before camp because camp is going to get tough. And as long as those guys stick together and continue to work hard, man, we, we want to play eight guys, play as many guys as we can and attack guys in waves. So we need all our guys to be ready, all our guys to be locked in. And whether you're a starter, backup, or, you know, a situational guy, you got to be on top of your game. So um, it's good that the guys are starting to hold each other accountable and it's not coming from the coaches. You know, Ty Robinson, you didn't have him on the field in the spring, but how big is he as a leader, a voice in your room? Yes, he did a good job during the spring of staying involved, you know, coaching the guys. Um, and those guys look up to him. You know, those guys do their homework, and they know he's a guy who's played a lot and uh, had some success. So um, for him, it's just getting back into football shape, learning how we do things, leading the way we want him to lead, and uh, getting back on the field and hitting the ground running, you know, and not starting from scratch and being able to pick up for where these guys, you know, putting all the work in the spring. So he's doing a good job of uh, doing that, getting his conditioning up and staying on top of the playbook, and we expect him to do a good job in camp. And Coach Rule told us uh, for training camp, you guys are going to have the team stay in the dorms for about two weeks, kind of more of an NFL mentality. Yeah. Uh, you've had it both ways, I'm sure. I mean, what's the value of getting your guys living in the old Selleck dorms for two weeks? Well, bringing them together. They're always together. They'll do everything together and also eliminates distractions. And like you said, we got a lot of young guys, you know, so a lot of things will be going on on campus, people moving in, different programs, but our guys will be focused only on football. And uh, that's the biggest thing right now is just make sure we eliminate distractions. And the, like you said, the season's right around the corner. And before you know it, we'll be taking off to Minnesota, and it happens quick, so we got to make sure we're ready. Had Coach Rule done that at other places like Baylor or Temple where the team was on campus in dorms, or is this something that he's going to try at Nebraska? Yeah, in the NFL, we actually traveled. So it was good to get away you know, from get away from home. And like I said, whenever we traveled to South Carolina, when we were in Charlotte, you know, bring the team closer together. And we always felt like we were ready for the season. And, um, you know, getting in that heat, getting in that sun and those guys grinding together, that's what it's about. Hey, Coach, we appreciate the time. Looking forward to seeing you as well in Houston. Thank you. Appreciate you.